Hello, I'm Donna Jones, and my mom passed away this past April 15th. Prior to her passing, we thought she was doing pretty well. She had slowed down a lot, but we thought she was doing pretty well. And I ran into one of the chaplains at Main Street Hospice and was sharing the information with him. And he said, you know, you don't have to wait until you know she's dying before you look into hospice. And that's something that really surprised me because I had always thought when your loved one is dying, that's when you call hospice so that they come in. But there is so much they can do for families and to support us. So I did. I called Main Street Hospice, but not before I checked out a couple of other places. I did my due diligence and decided that Main Street was the way I wanted to go. And that's how it all started. I have to say the hospice team was fantastic. From the nurse to the volunteers who came in and sat with my mom, they were all just wonderful and they were always available. The social worker was fantastic. I had immediate responses for just about everything that I questioned. I'd call, I'd get an immediate response. It, it honestly could not have been a better experience. Main Street Hospice was exceptional in many ways, but one of the things that I really admired about them was their quick response to all of my questions. We were going through something we had never gone through before. This was new for all of us. And at times, I was concerned about communication between uh, the nursing home staff and Main Street. But not only did they communicate really well with us and get back with us right away, but they communicated exceptionally well with all of the nurses on staff. And quite honestly, our nurses loved them. And they personally told me they cannot say the same for a lot of other hospice organizations. So it was a very good experience in that regard. Like I said earlier, there are a lot of exceptional things about Main Street. And it's really hard to even rank them because, and I know I'm making this sound like they're better than sliced bread, but for us in that time, they were. They were so incredibly supportive. When you're losing a loved one, the closer to that time, I mean, you see it coming, it's a journey. You see it coming and the closer you get to it, the more emotionally unraveled you become. For me, watching my dad go through this was excruciating. But I spoke with the nurse every day, sometimes more than once a day. And not only did we talk about mom, but we talked about me. We talked about my dad. We talked about what we needed. It was what can we do for you, not what you can do for us. And it was the same with the social worker. They really have their act together over there. And it's very clear that the people who work there, not only are they quality clinicians, but they're quality humans. Both are equally important in my mind when you're going through something like this. People have a lot of options when they are considering hospice for their loved ones. And it's very difficult to make a choice because everybody presents their best side when they're talking to potential clients. But I'm telling you, what you see is what you get with Main Street Hospice. I can't imagine recommending anyone else, to be quite honest. I wouldn't be comfortable recommending anyone else. These are loved ones, and when your family members are going through this journey, they deserve the best. As caretakers, you deserve the best. And in Main Street Hospice, I guarantee you, you will receive the best.